All right, what's up, y'all? Generic Nick or Eclipse here. We're on part five of Batting Kato's Origins walkthrough campaign. Hope you guys are enjoying this whole series. Right now, we're gonna pick it off and we're gonna go around town, check up on everybody, because it's where Sog grew up, where he was born, basically. Check on everyone. See what's up. See if we can help anyone or anything. So this is his mom. Gina, how does it feel to walk around after being gone so long? A little nostalgic? A lot of, a lot's happened while you were here, Way. We've had a guest from the Empire, and the kids have been going on about some monster at the lake. When I first moved out here, it was such a quiet little village. Now it's a popular tourist spot. Although everyone living here is still plugging along at their own slow pace, same as ever. Hey, so you, your timing's great. And you run it your timing. Sure, what can I do? Could you go next door and if they could spare a bit of thorn flower nectar? Thanks. No problem, be right back. Please give me back my hat. Not a chance. What happened with these two? Watch out, Tick used to be so close. I'll have to ask once we're done with this other business. Mm, okay, let's go get that. Thorn flower, I'm, I'm assuming next door, so. Soggy, what's this building? It's all falling apart. It's a ruined clock tower from a long time ago. Everybody here calls it the Briar Clock. The story goes that it was built back in the age of the gods. Mm, apple. Hey, Apple. Hey, Apple. Together. I guess you can't go in. No, too many thorns. But the kids dare each other to climb it all the time. You know, to see who's braver. You used, used to, to climb, climb it too. too. It was like a ritual. You'd go up all by yourself. Not even sunset would bring you down. Gina used to get so worried. No kidding! I guess you're braver than I gave you credit for. Uh, it wasn't bravery. Just climbing the briar clock helps me unwind. You should, you should try, try it, Wish. A, a good, good climb might bring out your demure side. If you have one. <laughs> I'll pass, thanks. I wouldn't want the thorns to tear my clothes. Craven. Who is? Cut it out, you two. Yeah. <laughs> or flower nectar, whatever she wanted. I mean, I'm assuming for cooking or something like that. Oh, hello, Sagi. You're on an errand? Yep. Just wanted to know if you could spare a little thorn flower nectar. Sure. Just help yourself. You have something to put it on? Put it in? It looks like we can draw the magnets in a second. Let's draw it. Thanks, ma'am. Ma'am? You're welcome, Sonny. Hi, Sonny. TV. Did you manage to get some thorn flower nectar? Yep. Thanks. Leave it to you, Sagi. I'll leave it to you. Oh, yeah. Leave it to you, Sagi. I wish Washington were half as helpful. You did me a big favor, so I'm gonna take this as a thank you. Next year, uh, obtain the value item, Melamed Charm. Isn't it a pretty charm? If you hold that a while, you pray. I'm sure it'll protect the Sagi. Thank you. I'll pray with it every day. Well, I'm happy that you're happy. If you want to pray, why not go to the church? Should fracture returns, what? You know what I mean? Anyways, that can wait for now. It's a bit early, but let's go ahead and have supper. Just a little longer. I'll be up before you can count to 50. Soggy, That's amazing how times. long are you going Not to lie there? Lie. Your lady friend is already up and waiting. Uh, she's going to wait at like 30 minutes. I'm uh, sorry to keep you. Aw, did Soggy Woggy have a good sleep? Uh. Curse mash, curse mash. On the lake monster, if you don't start running, I'll bite your head off. Okay. I think there's like things we could find under the. There's something under Yeah, like these. The Magnus. Yeah, those type of things. Not like all of them. Oh, I guess. Okay. I wonder. Yo. All these little recipes. I wonder, like. Yeah, no. 
not, not, I guess not everything, right? I'm doing okay here, so why don't you go talk around the village? We'll have dinner when you get back. We'll feel free to have, uh, have fun until then. All right, mister? Yes, mom. So I guess we're gonna be talking everywhere we're home. We'll see. Is this gonna help with anything? I think I'm good for today. Thanks for asking that. Oh, that reminds me. Did you try praying with that charm I gave you? No, I will. I will now. I'm sure it will protect you. Sorry. Take good care of it. I will. All right, let's go see what they need. Watch out. Where'd you hide my hat? Give it back. You started it. You ate my piece of cake, you big jerk. I know. I, I said I'm sorry. And you're still be you're still mean for taking my hat. Please give it back. Please. Why should I? You're such a crybaby. All you ever do is cry. That and eat other people's food. I, I'm not a crybaby. Watch out. I get back after all this time and you haven't grown up one bit. You're older than Tick. You've got to learn not to let these little things get to you. But Tick ate my piece of the cake Gina made for us all. We hardly get, we'd hardly ever get to eat cake. I hate Tick. I'm never giving back his stupid hat. Jeez. <laughs> Generic. I feel sorry for Tick. Why don't you? Why don't we look for his hat? Yeah, let's do it. All right, then let's start asking around. Someone might give us a lead. Tick's hat. You want to know where it is? I don't know. But no one watched him. He probably put it in the usual spot. I'm not telling a grown up where that is though. Happy searching. I right. I've already remember where it is. Let's talk to this kid. Are you looking for Tick's hat too, Soggy? They've been at it all morning, so I got worried and looked, but I couldn't find it anywhere or here, any here. And I couldn't find it in here. Well, she must have hit it somewhere. If not in here, maybe he hit it outside. Tick's hat. I haven't seen it in the house. How about asking the kids? They're always running around. Maybe one of them seen it. Yeah, probably kids. That's a good idea. Six head, I haven't seen it lying around here. I tried a lost and found at the elder's house. Try the lost and found. Lost in a while, the one the well's next to. I think the elder's out. Well, you can ask his wife. Hmm, ah, what a perfect day for exercising. Hmm, I just exercised actually before I started part four. This is part five, though. Getting bored from the total lack of action. Don't forget, peace is this village's greatest virtue. Although recently, talks been flying around about some monster that appeared up the south lake the people who went down there and have not returned yet maybe there really is a monster if you value your life don't uh they don't be an idiot and run down to the lake then don't be an idiot hello boy you look like the type with a nice magnus package show me yours and i'll show you mine right. hello boy glad let's see what she has to try for low potion please That's good for now. Let's see. Ooh. Wait. Let's do it. I don't know. I've never seen that before. It's not so confusing. Alright. Tick's hat, I have no clue. So get out of the way, please. Alright. Nice. I have no idea where Tick's hat is. And then. Uh, I understand how Washo feels, but he needs to let stuff like that go. <laughs> you probably wouldn't know, Soggy, but there's a traveler staying on at the elder's house now. He's a charming person. We've had him with us for some time now. But now that I think about it, I haven't seen him around lately. I wonder if he went home. Things are getting hairy outside, so don't go wandering out the village. It's so sad when old folks remain, but the younger folk don't come back. We got a lot of repeats here. Oh, I don't think we got that though. I think that's Millie's, if I think correctly. My son, he went down to the South Lake and hasn't come back. He's a strapping young lad like you. I shouldn't have known better, but hope has a way of clouding the eyes. Better? I'm sure your son is just fine. He's probably on his way back right now with a big basket of photosynthesis. You're right. That must be it. Thank you. I feel much better now. You're such a sweet boy. You got that from Gina. It's probably scary to live here soon when we come back home. They say something will happen if you run around the well a hundred times. I remember trying it as a kid, but nothing ever happened for, happened for me. If you sit at the well over there after dark, you get a lovely view of the stars. But the prettiest night sky of all has to be the one you see from the bridge at the South Lake. The stars look so big you could reach out and touch them. It's stunning. I mean, you really can't touch them. <laughs> Too bad stargazing at the lake is out the question, out of the question now that the monster has shown up. You'll stick around for a while before running off again, won't you? Come on by sometime. I'll whip up a big batch of your favorite foods. Oh. Fire element. Never used that before. 
Yes, when the Empire hadn't been a while well, the last time we saw him, he always had this pained look on his face. He tried to put on a tough guy act in front of my niece, but you could tell it wasn't easy for him. I wonder if we had some kind of serious illness. Sorry, my boy, I know that look. Your face is brimming with curiosity about um, gray thorns. No, no, there's no need to be shy about it. It's perfectly normal for a lad your age to experience strange new feelings toward gray thorns. What other creature can adapt to such a wide variety of cities and climes? I've discovered that these remarkable beings possess an unusual power. I'm still researching it right now, but I should be able to share my results very soon. So I can drop by again later on. I'll give you a chance to witness a true biological wonder. Okay. A lost hat, you say? Sorry, I don't remember anyone turning in one of those recently. Hmm, I see it must be important to you. If you're looking this hard, I wish I could be more, uh, more help. None of the villagers who set off for the lake have come back. Our guest from the Empire said he was going to look for them, and now he's missing too. I just hope they're all safe, wherever they are. I really want to help, but we've got to take care of a few other things first. Let's check back again later. Six out beats me. Oh, the quality's a little off right now. Oh, ho, ho, I love this village. The kids are so full of life. There are plenty of folks who spend their whole lives right here and never think of leaving. Nobody tries to hoodwink you. Everybody works together. It's a great place to rest your bones. Six Hat couldn't tell you. All right, it was worth a try. Six Hat, I don't know. Plus, I wouldn't say even if I did. Good luck searching. All right, thanks. Ah, uh, another warm and sunny day. On days like this, I just want to lay out and tan. Six Hat, haven't seen it. I know nothing. In fact, I have no idea whatsoever where it could possibly be. Six Hat, I don't know. No, really, the boys are probably lying, but I'm telling you the truth. The boys have one spot where they hide all the treasure. The hat's probably in there. Right. Hey, it's my bro from the Thornwood, remember me? The guy stuck between a rock and a uh, well, I was stuck behind a rock. Anyway, thank you, I managed to get back to the village safely. Well, I have plenty of time to catch up later, but first let me ask you something. Have you seen a black cat run around? I saw it when I was, when I was with you before, in the forest. It looks like I might have left one of my flock behind somewhere. If you see it, could you leave? Let me know. Just try to be subtle about it on the down low you follow. I don't want the old lady across the way to find out. I can reward you. Come on, please. Yeah. All right, let's talk all the sheep. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm just kidding, guys. We're not talking to the damn sheep. You're all going to do this. See? Literally. <laughs> oh, ho, ho. She's looking better than ever. What? Being a Kaplan herder requires outstanding eyesight. But even from this far away, my eagle's eyes can put a bead on any sweet lass in town. Oh, Lee, he, what a beauty. Oh no, I missed the best part because you distracted me. Move along now, shoot. Fuck off! Six hat, I, I don't know anything. I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. Kinda of suspicious, huh? Don't you think she's acting a little suspicious? Yeah, definitely fishy. I'm not suspicious at all. I swear that, uh, that the hat isn't right behind me. Well, if that's the case, then you won't mind me taking a peek, right? I'll just be a second, can you let me through? No way, if you want it, you have to give me the password. What's the password? Oh, it's... <laughs> hey, now I'm not falling for that again. I didn't mean to trick you. Oh, well, I guess I'll just have to think of the password. Think of the password. I feel bad for you, Sagi, so I'll give you a teen secret. But you can't tell anyone I was giving out hints, okay? All right, here goes, better listen close. It's a red and brownie and really just... If you give me one to me, I'll let you pass. Okay, got it. I'll see what I can do. Good luck. Let me see. Which of which of you was my dear sweet Mary? What? Oh, the oh. Was it that one over there? Or perhaps this one over here? Hmm. The blessed things all look the same. Hang it all. She's so pretty, I just can't stand it. Why am I such an old man? It's the view from afar that really uh, sets the heart ablaze. Love is wonderful for the very reason that you can't just go at it head on. Right around mountain apples. What's wrong? Haven't you seen a mountain apple before? Go on, take one if you like. Huh? Is it really all right? Sure, go right ahead. We're close today, so this one's free. On return, you can give us your business another day, okay? Thank you very much. I'll take you up on that offer. It looks like we don't go telling it, uh, anybody now. This is our little secret kiddo. The mountain apple trader is nice enough to select the best first to send here. They cost the same as the rest, but they're a nicer shape and color. Go ahead and enjoy it to the core. Right, 
effect. Did you find the password item? It's a right and run. There it is. Whoa, this color, this form, it's so round, it's so red. This is truly a mountain apple among mountain apples. Sagi, you're amazing. You brought the password item, so now you're free to pass. You're free to pass. Welcome to the club. Amidst the briars, you find a jar filled with marbles and some funny looking rocks. This looks like a cache of the kids' most prized belongings. This is where all the kids come to hide away their treasure. I used to keep stuff here too. I wouldn't be surprised if Watcher put Tick's hat in here. Let's take a look. Aha, this crunchy, money, floppy little hat. There's nothing else here that could be it. So I think it's safe to call the hunt off. Okay, let's head back to the orphanage and return this to Tick. I'll let you eat my dinner. Can't you forgive me? It has to be the piece of Gina's special cake or no deal. Tick, guess what I've got? Ah, uh, is that what I think it is? Good, I've got the right one. Here's your hat back, sir. Soggy, thank you. Thank you. You guys are bleeding. Are those scratches from the briars? You did all that for me? Here, Soggy, use this. Adhesive bandages. Aw, oh, man, now I look like the bad guy. I'm sorry, Macho. I know you must have been looking forward to eating Gina's cake. Okay, they're all ready. Gather around everyone here, come a batch of Gina's famous Thornflower and Nectar cookies. Watch out, Tick feels really bad. I'm sure he won't eat your piece of cake again. Right, Tick? Yeah, I won't eat yours ever again, I swear. I'm sorry, Watch out. Will you forgive me? Well, come on, Watch out. Oh, yeah, I guess so. Thanks, wa thanks Watch out. Well, now that that's settled, let's see how these cookies turned out. Yeah, woohoo! Yes, it's a village called Sheraton in Hosselet. Mm, I know, but I mean, are you sure about him? Sounds like Millie. Millie Art. I find it hard to imagine he's a... Someone's coming. I'll contact you again later. Maybe, because it sounds like Millie are you know, so Hilo maybe is sensing correctly. Hey, what do you think we should do from now on? Helping out here at the orphanage wouldn't be a bad idea. Not yeah, bad all, that way mom can take it easy now and then. Well, what do you mean? It's fun having her around. It would be nice if she could stay with us, but we shouldn't make her feel like she has to stay here forever. Soggy, you're still up. It was me. Millie, what are you doing out here? Oh, um... I couldn't sleep. I was getting advice about where to go from here. I couldn't sleep either. There's so much racing through my head right now. Hey, Soggy. I don't mean to pry, but there's something that's been bothering me. What were you doing in the Dark Service? How could someone born in Hosele bring himself to work for the Empire? I know about the Hosele servitude. I learned about it back when I was at the School of Magic. Didn't the Empire force the Hosselites to work on the construction of Alfard cities? No, I almost wanted to do Wizard 101, like a campaign of that. That would take forever. I never finished it, but I got pretty far. If you know all that, anyways, back to this. you shouldn't have to ask me why I joined the service. I joined to avenge everyone. To kill Olgan. Avenge them? Yeah. Five years ago, yeah. every able man in <laughs> was led off to slave away for the Empire. Most of them didn't come back. The kids in the orphanage are all the children they left behind. Mom would get so sad whenever she talked about it. So I made up my mind to get revenge for everybody. And that's why I needed to get as close to Olgan as I could. But what I said before about earning the money, that was true too. Mom works hard to get by. The orphanage is still a wreck. But lucky for me, an elite group like the Dark Service pays a cut above the rest. Way better than when I was just a nobody in the Imperial Army. Sagi, I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to drag all this out of you. You didn't. Does your mother know about all this? I'm not gonna tell her. She'd just get worried or mad. And either way, she would've stopped me. Oh. Well, I think I'll head in now. 
Good night, Millie. Good night, Soggy. Soggy, get up. It's morning. Good morning. No, oh, it's not. The clickers haven't crowed. What are you talking about? They crowed hours ago. Stop your mumbling and get out of bed. Uh, I'm up. Oh, sorry to keep you. Aw, oh, what's the matter? Did Soggy Woggy stay up past his bedtime? No, I think I found that Kaplan. Soggy, I have a favor to ask you. Will you hear me out? Sure. Anything for you, dog. No, oh, thank you. When I was young, I saw many a wonder traveling from a continent to continent. I faced terrible monsters, unearthly exotic plant life. It was a good experience for me. I became convinced that studying those life forms would one day be useful in developing these new medicines. So I started carrying around a field guide, jotting down everything I saw during my journeys. I searched the house for it, thinking I'd pass it on to my son, but I can't find it anywhere. I'm too old for adventures now, and even if I found the book, my son left for the day, uh, for the lake days ago, and still hasn't returned. Thus, I would like to ask your help in making a new field guide. Here, take this to start out. It's an empty volume I set up to look like my old one. Just fill in the spaces as you go along. When you've collected a fair bit of data, come on back to the house and I'll reward you accordingly. Anyway, you'll get a feel for it as, as you go along. I'm sure. Now then, off you go. Busy, busy. What I, w what, what I wouldn't give for a nice long bunny cat now. That's the only doctor in the village, so everybody comes to us. And he's too generous. He never charges for backups. I mean, checkups, what? I guess that was one reason everybody loves him so much. But the way, by, oh my gosh, I cannot talk right now. By the way, we're closed today. We're seeing emergencies only. Sometimes I have to tell myself I can't talk so I can talk. I moved out here from Sadal Su to marry the son of a doctor. Figured he'd be loaded, you know? Well, I get here, and it turns out he's the son of a doctor way out in the boonies. I missed my, my ticket to luxury, but it's nice to be away from the hustle and, bu and bustle of the city. Who says that? Come on. <laughs> now my hubby would just get back from the lake in one piece, I'd have nothing to complain about. Doc is such a wonderful man, I come in every day for a checkup just as an excuse to see him. Truth be told, I don't hurt one bit, see him fit as a fiddle. I love the village, but I've always wanted to try living somewhere else. I wonder if there's not a pretty t town somewhere that'll just that's just right for me. I don't know, like post it up here. Did you really think that the pretty powers could stop the Dark Lord of Evil? Even if we can't beat you alone, there's nothing that can stand up to all of our powers combined. Yeah, we can still win. Oh, what did you say? Come on, Red, combine your powers. Red, you mean me? Sorry, our powers is one. <laughs> this is the okay. Rah! <gasps> what the fuck? Take this, all of our powers combined. Even small powers can triumph when gathered together. There's no evil that can't be stopped. It, it cannot be. Now, Red, Dark Lord of Evil, feel the brunt of all of our powers combined. Take this. Boah! Red, welcome back, Red. I knew you'd return for us. In return, you did. Without you, we would never, we never could have defeated the Dark Lord of Evil. At last, his reign, his reign of dark evilness has come to an end. Please, you're the only one fit to carry this, wield it with pride. Looks like we can toy some him. <laughs> okay. From this day on, you're the official leader of the Sheraton Rangers. We're counting on you. Oh boy. Wow. I feel honored. Thank you.
bagus back at Sheraton. I remember, of course. Isn't this the commissioning Kaplan? We should head back to Sheraton and blow them up. Flowers with uh, sharp thorns are in full bloom here. It looks like we can draw places. You spotted the black clock, the black kaplan, and the new sock on Thornwood. Really? Thanks, bro. Now I can keep my honor as a kaplan in hand. Here's a reward, as I promised. If I need help, I, kn I know who to go to. Blue beans. I owe no say. And days he's still full. And then one of them has come back. So I guess from the Empire went looking for them, and now he's missing too. I just hope they're all safe wherever they are. Maybe we can do something to help. Let's investigate. Yeah, let's head down to the lake and see what there is to see. There's no harm in taking a quick look around. Alright. The lake about ten runs. I'd like drain this so I can go out there or something. Someone is lying on the ground here. What's this? It looks like a blank magnus, but it's a little different somehow. This could be that one of the elder granddaughters we were talking about. Let's bring it back to her. Alright, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode, part 5. Alright, take it easy guys. Peace out. Yeah.